Welcome, boat lovers. Today we're bringing you to Porto Venere for the launch of Tecnomar's newest edition, the Nandara 30 meter long Aurora. Only a few weeks before the launch of the Velvet 36 double shot, the Massa Boatyard is showcasing for us the first of its Nadara line with a 30 meter ship bridge called Aurora. And let's go have a look at it. This Nadara 30 Aurora has been specifically designed to be a charter ship as we requested by the ship's owner. So let's go and see how all the various spaces on the ship have been designed as to optimize the ship's measurements, be it internally as we have five cabins and five bathrooms and three cabins for the ship's crew and externally where there are large areas that can fit many people, including the ship's cockpit, the bow and the flybridge. Let's start our visit here in the cockpit, where you can see the splendid table made for eight people. The table can even seat comfortably Aurora's ten guests, and in turn can be lowered to become a large sunbed. So here you can have the first large area fit for many people, the stern cockpit. And now, I want you to show you the sun deck. Okay, follow me. Right now we are on the sun deck of this Nadara 30. It should be said that this flybridge is quite large, especially in width. In fact, it extends in part above the cockpit and houses above it, the ship's tender. The principal area is very large and able to accommodate many people. And as we've said before, it is one of the main areas designed as a social meeting point. And there's a large table resembling the one that we saw in the ship's cockpit that can be turned into an extremely big sunbed. And we naturally have the ship's steering station and a large furnished area ideal for serving lunch to many. Here we are down on the main bridge of this 30 meter long Aurora in the large hall and you can see how nice this unique atmosphere is here on only one level and as you saw I got here down an internal staircase that connects directly with the flybridge. We have another staircase outside on the cockpit. Changing topics, let's talk about the Aurora which is a particular type of yacht. Before we mentioned that it was made with the idea of it being a charter ship and therefore optimizing the width and length of the internal areas, allowing for a large number of cabins. It shows that the ship's owner wanted to move away from the standard ships that Technomar boatyards were creating. See how the fittings, despite such so-called constraints, are of the highest quality. To start off with, we have these seats in the dining area. Some are in shiny red leather and others in natural full grain leather. There are two Edra Rhodes chairs, so you can imagine all the detailing required in the creation of these high-designed armchairs. The two couches we see here were especially made for this yacht, and there are also two television screens mounted so that the guests can see the screens quite comfortably wherever they may be seated. Finally, we have Venge wood flooring and furnishing in white and oak, and over my shoulder you can see the walls have been covered with velvet material, a feature that I like a lot, and they add a luxurious touch. These same walls can be found on the night deck. And now follow me below deck to see all the cabin features. Ed ora appunto seguitemi sotto coperta ad andare a visitare tutti gli ambienti delle cabine. We are going below deck, but I want to stop immediately to show you the large and sturdy but comfortable staircase. Each step is made of Venge wood and is fitted with a blue light that helps you see during the night. See this railing that connects to the wall and it continues like this along the corridor below deck. Other than having a design function as the light shows off the design and is very nice, it also has a practical and safety function that doesn't obstruct the path to the external area. So when you have to go below deck, maybe when the seas are rough, we don't knock into them at all. Here we are in the first of Aurora's cabins, the one belonging to the owner, and its position which would usually be facing the stern, but we are closer to the ship's bow. The cabin takes all the boat's beam, and despite being on a charter boat, it has all the comforts you would expect for a cabin of this type. 
There is the large chaiselong along the wall, a couch on the other side, and on the other wall there is a table that doubles as a desk for the owner or a powder room for the lady. And honestly, nothing is overlooked. As you can see, the store opens to a walk-in wardrobe. E poi non manca una chicca, come vedete dietro di me questa porta, che contiene un vero guardaroba walk-in. On the other side we have the owner's bathroom. Il bagno armatoriale. See how I am measuring the width of this mattress? Two meters long by five meters wide. It really highlights the space on this boat. It's 30 meters long, but to have five cabins that are this big is really out of the ordinary. Let's measure the height of the room. Two meters by seven meters, and this is the size of all the cabins. We really see how the boatyard's priority was to maximize the space. Now we go inside one of the many bathrooms. Aurora has five bathrooms which serve the five guest cabins, a day toilet on the main bridge and a bathroom in the crew quarters. The fittings are similar in all the bathrooms and are rather sophisticated. We have a large use of black slate for both the sinks and the shower flooring and also for the seat inside the shower with an indentation so you can place things like rings or watches, items that you don't want getting wet. The floors and main furnishings are in Benge wood. Benge e in Benge sono anche i mobili principali. Let's now show you this double bed set in the wall and very long, more than 180 centimeters. We are in one of the VIP cabins near the boat's stern and the space is optimized to its full potential. We have a tall wardrobe and behind me a toilet fitted in the same way as in the owner's one. So we see the use of slate and benge wood and a beautiful shower. Come quello dell'armatoriale, quindi abbiamo utilizzo di ardesia e di benge e un bellissimo box doccia separato. Also, every cabin below deck is equipped with rectangular windows that allow for a lot of light to come in. And with the system developed by Technomar, you can dim every window in a second. Curare ogni finestra in un attimo, guardate. Last but not least, the two guest cabins, which are also spectacular. Let's remind you that the Aurora was built to be a charter boat, but the space and fittings have not been compromised. This is one of the guest rooms, fitted with two single beds, but there is an easy way to turn these beds into one bed. Un sistema molto semplice per poter ricavare da questi due letti un letto intero. Attenzione, non stiamo parlando di Careful though, we are not talking about two single beds that turn into a double bed, but instead of an insert that placed in the middle turns them into one enormous bed. See how practical it is? How it gives more space? Above these single beds, all you need to do is open up this bed head and inside we find a mattress and underneath some wooden slats that place between the two single beds and with the mattress on top make one enormous bed. We are walking along one of the walkways of this Nadara 30, and the first thing that strikes you are its size, both in height, I mean it's more than one meter, and in width. These dimensions are really what you would find on a ship. Let's measure. Think, 64 centimeters wide, something that you don't see on a 30 meter long boat. I also want to show you two very pretty design details. One is this steel bollard personalized by the boatyard with this T from the Technomar logo and this door hook with a beautiful anti-scratch and anti-stain finish in white leather with contrasting red stitching.
At the bow of the main bridge of this Nadara 30, we find the piece de resistance, the most beautiful part of this boat, and that's a spa bath for six people that can be covered to become a sunbed. Think how nice it would be to be with friends in the comfort of a spa overlooking the horizon with the view of the sea. I want to also show you some of the technical features of this part of the bow. Above all, you notice the flare of this bulwark. Let's start with this gunwale. As it heads towards the bow, it becomes very high, thus making it easy to understand how the bow, if it has to contend with high seas, can fend off the waves very well and break them towards the bottom of the boat, leaving the boats dry. Let's look towards the bottom and we see a large two-winch motor and two anchors completely separate, one on the top side naturally. The chain of the anchor of each one is fitted with an automatic washing system that gets rid of any impurities that can be gathered from the bottom. And each of the two chains are accessible by a trapdoor that is located to the side of them. Through a sliding door we find ourselves in the section of the bow of the main bridge. This part is dedicated to the ship's crew as we are now located inside their work area. We have the steering station and naturally there is another one on the flybridge. And on this side there is a kitchen and behind the sliding door there is a day toilet which is very comfortable, especially given its use as a charter boat. And in the bow section in the lower deck bridge we find the crew's sleeping quarters, three double cabins with two bathrooms. Before heading off, let us show you the engine's room of this 30-meter-long Nadara, a room that is definitely quite large, in which you can move around very easily. Above my head there is more than 1 meter 90 centimeters of light, and it's also well organized, which would naturally a cause for much happiness for the commander of this ship and we know that a happy commander often means a relaxed owner. To the side of me you can see two propulsion units, or rather two CAT C-32 with 1,825 horsepower each. They provide the base requirements for the running of the engines for this 30 meter long ship. These are used specifically in part because the boat is used as a charter boat and with the optimization of space being of high importance, they assembled the V-drives so that the engines could be positioned towards the stern, also has to be to travel long distances. Now I want to talk to you about some of the boat's technical features that are not at all boring, but show how Aurora can sail long distances. So we have 8,000 litres of reserve fuel, which means that if the boat ever experiences a low sailing speed of 10 knots, it will have 720 miles up its sleeve, 3,000 litre capacity of fresh water, 800 litres of waste water and 500 litres of sewage water. But that's not all. Two generators with 33 kilowatts running through them each and desalinating machine that produces 210 litres of water every hour on board the Aurora. This highlights how the technical features of the ship have not been at all neglected and are in fact very important.